Okay, so once you've corrected your standing posture, your rotations, your soft tissue work on the mesentery, the roots, the lumbar spine, and the hamstrings, you can actually stretch the sciatic nerve. Okay, and by no means is this the complete uh, way of neurodynamics. Uh, it's just a couple of techniques that you can use. Okay, so if you get here on someone, and that's it, that's where they start to feel the impingement, okay, you can pump. Push, pull. So it's a compression, decompression. You can start to affect the hip capsule. This is not a harmonic. Okay, you can actually tension the nerve. So what do you do? You rotate externally or internally. Okay, if I know the piriformis, the glutes, okay, they could be trouble causes. So what do I do? They are external rotators. So I internally rotate, okay? Be gentle, eh? If you really want to stretch the sciatica, you're stretching the calf as well, but you're putting a huge stretch on the sciatic nerve. And I can gently pump, pump, pump. I can also decompress and rotate. I can get Anya to side bend, put more stress on the sciatic nerve. Can you side bend to your right? So like a banana. No? No. You just side bend. No? And just move your body, stay on your back and just move your body like a banana. Yeah, perfect. Great. Okay. And I could also put pillows under her head to put her into flexion and stretch the nerve even more. And gently mobilize. I can do, I can stir the pot. I can uh, experiment with uh, eversion like this yeah? and dorsiflexion. Inversion and dorsiflexion. Uh, if you want to get the lateral part of the sciatic, you can. Evote and plantar flex. All sorts of variations, guys, and I would encourage you to experiment with them. If you're interested in neurodynamics, uh, David Butler, the sensitive nervous system, is a great resource. Okay, that's all for today.